Okay, we'll go, I'll go more quickly through these since as always I'm running out of time. This was case uh, 22, and this could look like a Veruca at first glance. It's got a nice Veruca surface. It even has vacuoles that could make you think of coilocytes, uh, and there's some bright pink parakeratosis there, but when we look in the papillary dermis, what do we see? Foamy cells, vacuolated foamy histiocytes. So a verrucous lesion with foam cells in the papillary dermis, that's called a verruciform xanthoma. And the main differentials you could think of would be a regular verruca. And also, one time I saw a case of verrucous carcinoma that on a superficial shave looked very much like this and even had a touch of foamy cells, I thought. And then it was clinically concerning. They took it out and it was verrucous carcinoma. But it can have this same pattern of bright pink parakeratosis. I've got a nice example on Kiko of a digital slide of a really like picture perfect verruciform xanthoma. Wow, look at that bright pink uh, parakeratosis there. And a really great example. You can go check that out. I'll put a link down below. And foamy cells in the papillary dermis. This is like picture perfect verruciform xanthoma. But here it's good to see not only the dramatic perfect ones, but also the ones that are a bit more subtle. So always go looking for the foam cells. The anogenital area and the oral cavity are the two most common areas to see verruciform xanthoma. And they often have neutrophils in the stratum corneum I've found. So good, good thing to know about. And unrelated to lipid abnormalities.